it feels like a supercar, handles like a supercar, rides like a luxury sedan. It, yeah. it is incredible. Welcome back to Protective Film Solutions. We've got an exciting video in store today. I've got Logan here with me, and we obviously have our new project car on the channel. We picked up a 2021 Corvette C8. Logan had no idea which car we we're getting. He knew he had something going on. I thought it was a Vantage. Give me another year. Yeah, yeah, you know he wants I've Vantage. I've been talking about it's that for a while. coming soon, yeah. eventually. But we do have the C8. Uh, what are your thoughts of the C8 Corvette? Uh, it's growing on me, slowly. I want to drive it, we'll go from there, and after that, I'll let you know my thoughts. So right now, we're gonna go ahead and go through uh, what the spec is on the car. If you guys watched last video, you know, we talked about uh, what the options were on the order uh, process and a couple of people were guessing what that was and we'll get to who won the PFS merch at the end of the video. But right now, let's put Logan behind the wheel because he hasn't driven the car yet and we'll get the car pulled around well, the side. Let me make it clear. We're moving the car. This is not driving the car. This it's, is moving. It's driving I, it. Nope, nope. It's the most driving this guy's going to do with it. Well, while he's doing a 10-point turn, Daniel, we've got a big project going on on the wrap side right now, which is the uh, Lamborghini Huracan Performante. Getting a full color change. Right now, it kind of looks like Christmas colors. So let's uh, go over to that side of the shop while Logan's moving the car around. So this is our 2021 Corvette C8. Let's talk about how we got this car. So uh, we were looking for a project car for the past few months now, trying to figure out what's the work best uh, for the shop and to use for YouTube as we expand our channel. I obviously love the Aston Martin, but it's still something that's, uh, market's pretty high right now. It's really hot. So we're gonna wait on that car. C8 was the perfect platform. We picked up this car from Whitmoyer Chevrolet out in Pennsylvania. They did an amazing job getting us the allocation on the car. Thank you to Matt Beaver and Brandon Thomas. Uh, and then for the connection, uh, Miss Amelia and Sean uh, were the ones who put us in touch. Huge thank you to you guys, because without that, we would have this car here. Uh, as you guys know, this car is really hard to get right now. Dealers are charging a, a huge markup on the car, and uh, so it's really, really hard to get an allocation. So huge thank you to you guys. Uh, we look forward to doing more business in the future. Again, thank you guys. If you guys are in the Pennsylvania area, Take a look at them. Even if you're not, these guys do a great job. They do a lot of C8s coming in and out of that facility. So contact them below. We'll put a link in the description. Big thank you to you guys. So we're gonna go straight into today's video talking about the MSRP and what we did on the specs on this car. So cars outside, first thing you're gonna see on this car is the color of the car. What's the color? Rabbit? No, blue. Ra rabbit. Rabbit. No, rabbit. Ra uh, rabbit. Ra I'm, he's right. We're gonna call it rabbit. PFS Blue. Boom. So first thing we're gonna get to obviously is the spec on the car. So what we asked you guys in the last video is your guess on what the MSRP is. So first thing you're gonna choose on the C8 platform is uh, this car starts off at a $60,000 price tag is the 1LT, 2LT, 3LT. This is a 2LT. So the reason why we went with 2LT is it has some options on there that we wanted to add. Things like the front lift on there, memory lift, which is awesome, to make a big difference when the car is lowered and on the ground. Game changer. Um, I'd imagine that all manufacturers are gonna start adding memory lift now. So if you hit that lift button, it remembers it or gives you the option to remember it. And then when you go back to that location, you don't have to do it again. So Logan won't scrape the car when he drives it. Besides that, honestly, there was no other reason to go to any higher option. 3LT has a bunch of interior options. All that stuff is useless for what we want to do with it. We want to have uh, somewhat of a base model uh, to make it our own. Uh, 2LT brings it up about, I think, five or 6,000. 
The front memory has got another 1500 on the front lift that we'll get to. The front lift on this car is super easy. You got a button versus the McLaren. Hey, McLaren's got better with it though. Yeah. Now it's a button. It used to be some toggle switch and then tap your head and pat your stomach type stuff. The next thing that's on the car is gonna be the Z51 package. So obviously this is a must if you want the car to have a little better handling, a better braking, better cooling as well. So the giveaway is obviously gonna be the calipers. Z51 package is I think another 5,000 on the car. Uh, the plan with this one is to take out on track. Uh, Chevy does something cool. They actually warranty the car for track use. The other part of the options on the car is gonna be the uh, engine bay appearance package, which we'll get to. It has some carbon fiber and then blue seat belts, and that's it. Other than that, the car is somewhat of a lower spec option. So with that spec, it brings it out to 81,000. I think $625. We'll get to who got closest to that shortly in the video. Initial thoughts on the car, Logan. We've had probably a couple dozen C8s now. Obviously the biggest thing with the C8 is the new styling and mid-engine. Mid-engine. So what's bigger for you, the styling on it or the mid-engine? Mid-engine. It'll grow on me. Yeah. I think it makes some good sound. I think with uh, some exhaust work, it will sound incredible. Yeah, uh, you know what we're gonna this, do? This sounds really good for being stock though. I gotta give it to them. So, yeah. so Chevy did very well with that. And it does have the Z51 exhaust, which adds five horsepower and it makes it a little bit uh, louder than stock. But we're gonna put a bunch of stickers on it. So you guys know stickers add horsepower. All so this thing will all be like 25,000 horsepower when we're all done with it. Yeah. So mid-engine is obviously a huge thing, but I mean, styling on the car, you take emblems off of it and it's probably hard pressed for people who don't know cars to know what kind of car this is. Very true. I, I mean, I can't deny it. There's been a countless amount of times. I think Daniel can agree to this as well. Driving down the road, you see something cor coming towards you like, oh, look at this Ferrari. And you're like, oh, I'm look, that's a Corvette. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing. Obviously, uh, Chevy knows what they're doing with that. And that's the whole appearance is that giving it an exotic look. Uh, and for the price tag, there's nothing even close to this. No, not at all. I think for the price, the only thing that can compare, but I don't think it's gonna do as well, is gonna be the new Lotus. Okay. Roughly in the same ballpark. I mean, what else is in that, that ball, I mean, BMWs are even more expensive than this now. Yeah. So even like the new M4s, the new M5s are, are more expensive than this. So the bang for your buck is, is where it's at for this type of car right now. Imagining that Chevy actually put a number of 59,000 as an entry level car. Now, a lot of those cars were not delivered due to COVID. I think a lot of the ones that were delivered were the higher spec models. Uh, so you're not gonna come across too many of them that are in that $60,000 range. I think most of them are gonna be probably between 80 to uh, 90, but you've got some that are spec'd up in the high, like 110, 115 range with a fully option model. Obviously for what we're gonna do with the car, don't really care about that stuff because we wanna make it our own. So let's go straight into the car. The front end is, uh, it's a mix. I, I'd say Corvette Ferrari is my kind of uh, overall uh, look at it. Actually, we're gonna have to put a new badge right here. We'll put uh, a yeah. Ferrari badge for some, we'll take it to a show, put a Ferrari badge just for the heck Troll some people. Yeah. I'm sure some of our clients and friends will like that. <laughs> I actually really like the new headlights. I agree. I think the color really depicts this car though. Certain colors work better. I think the blue pulls out the body lines a lot well, uh, very well, which then tie into the new headlight design as well. So they have some, some very new new technology in that as well. And these are a true like black and smoke lens. I know the Correct. C6. C6, it was body color. Yeah. So if you wrapped the car for whatever reason, uh, they were still body color and you couldn't separate them either. They yeah. were all, you had to do a huge process with it. Don't ask me how I know about that. <laughs> Coming down to the side of the car, obviously this has the uh, upgraded wheels. They're 1920. Uh, they're the Trident spoke wheels. Looking for stock, obviously we're gonna change that out and go with a more aggressive, lightweight race wheel, which will probably be one of the first rounds of mods we're gonna do with the car. Uh, next part, which is uh, something that is somewhat controversial. Some people like the look of the kind of the boomerang. Yep, um, side C. Side C scoop. Yeah. So obviously this is where the air is gonna get forced into the engine so it doesn't uh, soak up too much heat. I like the look. I think the C8R uh, and like the Z06 has a more aggressive boomerang, which uh, makes it look a bit better. This car does not have any of the extra uh, aero package, which would be coming down on the side here. Definitely something we're gonna wanna add on the car uh, as we lower it and give it a uh, better stance. We wanna kind of fill out the body as well. One thing I think that's also a little bit controversial is the kind of squared off rear end. It's very squared off. Yeah, it's got a lot of interesting body lines on it. And that's kind of what reminds you that the car is a Corvette. I think when the car first came out, it just destroyed the internet. And then once we started seeing on the street, and uh, as Logan said, you spot it from afar, the front end, super aggressive and exotic looking. I think the back end of the car, they still did a great job with it, but you kind of get that Corvette look that reminds you that this is a Corvette. Nothing wrong with that. The car still looks great. But as you can see, that squared off look with the taillight 
does remind you that it's a Corvette. So we come to the back of the car. It's super aggressive. It's cool that they have a huge rear diffuser. What that's gonna allow for is a lot to, uh, to imagine with a diffuser upgrade and exhaust. Anything that you don't like about the rear end of the C8 besides that squirt off? So in all honesty, there's, there's a few things I don't like about the car in general, but the rear end is one of those things. So when the car first came out, I saw a, uh, some kind of designer on YouTube go through and kind of adjust some s subtle things on the rear. One of the things that drives me a little nuts is if you look closely here, this comes up slightly right here. In my opinion, this should go straight across. And he made some subtle changes and that made the biggest of difference in my opinion. Not saying it doesn't look good. I just think maybe they could have done it a little differently, which might've made it look better, but that gives us the opportunity to put our own touch on it to make it our own. This does have the Z51 rear spoiler. So the engine is a 6.2 liter V8. It's got just under 500 horsepower, 470 pounds of torque. So it's got enough power to get this thing going. Naturally aspirated as well. Yes, naturally aspirated. And uh, the car, or the engine looks really good in the back. Again, we have the carbon add-in package that's on there, which is kind of a nice touch. With the engine being in the back, it's mated to a DCT transmission. Uh, everything fits really well. The engine sits very low, which is cool. What this is gonna allow for is uh, with a nice exhaust upgrade on the back. I think uh, the short length on there is gonna make it quite rowdy. You brought somebody who's never on camera. You guys remember Ryan, the owner of PFS. Bruh. Actually, what are Ryan's thoughts? So Ryan had the infamous 570 VX. That was the Vore Standard kit on it. Had the VF Tune. A lot of uh, people borrowed the car. I think Stradman, uh, Vehicle Virgins, Daily Driven Exotics, and had a lot of fun with it. He has not had his own project car uh, since then and the C8 you're a little hesitant at first but this guy's already a little obsessed with it so what are your initial thoughts of the new C8? Just like you said I mean it coming from having what three McLarens and we sold that at the end of last year trying to figure out what we wanted for a new shop car something to go have fun with yep. the project and we just couldn't find anything like nothing kind of got me excited yeah it was like do I want another McLaren do we want to do a Lamborghini do we want to do an Aston Martin Everything that I had seen about it, and he had told me about it, it's kind of the hottest thing on the market. It's, yeah. it's the biggest bang for your buck out there. So I just kind of let him have free reign. Just you guys pick what you want, what you think is going to work best for for us to do marketing, kind of show what we can do with the car. And uh, this is what they picked. Uh, we just got it, I think, two weeks ago. I think for the money, there's nothing on the market, uh, even close. No, um, and, and, and having so, so many exotic cars, you still kind of get that feel uh, inside the cockpit. Sounds a little bit different, but I mean, overall thoughts on this thing, it's... I wish I'd have had this for all the rallies I've yeah. done over the past year. Is this, this driving, it feels like a supercar, handles like a supercar, rides like a luxury sedan. It, yeah. it is incredible. Switching a couple of the dials to change the, the performance system in it. I mean, steering wheel tightens up, it rides different, sounds different, but it's got all the creature comforts that you can imagine. and. The one thing that it had that I always said I wanted to make sure was the next one was gonna have air-cooled seats. Yeah. That was the very first thing I checked when I got in the car. Air-cooled seats that's and car the, plays what he cares about. That's all I care and about. And it's got a front lift. And it has a front lift. So, so when, when Ryan, scraping. yeah, when Ryan takes out, he won't uh, scratch the front end. So he's enjoying it now. We'll see if he still enjoys it once the mods are done on it. Um, we're gonna have a lot of fun with the project. He's kind of giving us free reign to see what direction we wanna go in. And if you guys have seen the, the projects uh, I've done in the past, uh, it should be a good one. So uh, hopefully this guy still loves the car by the time we're done with it, but uh, I'm, I'm wipe excited. It down. I want to take it to lunch. Yeah, so. he's taking it to lunch right now. <laughs> so he's going to take it out there and then we're actually going to jump in the car. We got to go do a quick VIN check since this is an out-of-state car. So we'll be able to jump in and get a quick ride together with Daniel uh, to kind of see what the interior is all about. So one of the modes you want to drive in also is never drive in auto mode. So you're going to go down here and press the M button which puts it into manual mode. Uh, that way you can drive with the paddles. One big change on the C8 obviously is the transmission now is DCT. So it means it's paddle only. You don't have any option to do normal auto or manual. So I'm okay with that. A DCT transmission and gearbox is actually super efficient. And it's gonna be a lot more efficient than the old uh, single clutch R-Tronic I had in the R8 and the F1 gearbox I had in the Aston. So once we, yeah. That's Shifts are quick in this thing. Closest thing I had from DCT before, obviously Ryan's McLaren, but my brother had a E92 uh, with DCT as well. Uh, this one's obviously even more efficient being that it's a newer, more modern car, but I love the gearbox on here. I'm sure there's a, only a matter of time till somebody tries to do a conversion and does a manual if that's not already out yet, but that'd be pretty, uh, pretty wild.
so one of the features on this CA is it's got a 500 mile break-in period. So I just switched the screen back over to the standard. So you can see where it shows the warning and then red line. It's at uh, 3,500, 4,000, and 4,500. That will change once you hit that 500 mark. It'll actually, you can physically watch it shift over and that will raise the red light in the limit. One thing that I like to do is some sort of custom exhaust, something that's not uh, typical or available for the aftermarket. So we'll do something uh, custom. Comment below, what's the, uh, that's the first modification that you guys want to see on Project C8? Uh, we got a few things in mind, but just curious what your guys' thoughts are. So comment below in the comment area uh, what you think that might be uh, or uh, what you guys want to see. And uh, I'm excited to get this project started. One thing we want to get to is we uh, did a giveaway. We asked you guys to comment below, comment on our Instagram, what you thought the MSRP was on the spec. So after hearing today's video of how we spec out this car, now you have a better idea. There's a couple of people that were close, no one was dead on. The closest person is gonna be a Mr. Stephen A. Pearson, who's uh, coincidentally a CA owner. Uh, so I'll put your name down below. He guessed uh, 83,000. So our MSRP on this car is actually 81,265. So that is what the MSRP was on this spec. Uh, a lot of car for the money. Again, that has about $20,000 worth of options on it, but it still is a lower spec. Uh, as I mentioned, I really could care less about some of the nicer things that the car comes with that we don't need. I wanna change a lot anyways. Anyways, guys, I'm really excited to continue Project uh, C8. Thank you for uh, staying tuned. We've got big stuff in the works, and uh, we'll see you guys next video. Peace.